This episode is sponsored by Double Trouble, which is exclusively available through Patreon. Please take a second and click the thumbs up. It really helps us out. Danielle? Holy shit. Molly! 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 Oh, oh my god, Molly! Danielle? Jesus Christ, what the fuck happened?
¿Qué traes ahí, eh? Animales. No, nomás un granjero. Todo bien. Buckle up, ladies. now um 14 cameras have you ever heard of this movie no, no. okay so there's this movie called 13 cameras in 2015 basically there's this guy all right so here's a clip from 13 cameras so huge missed opportunity right here by the way um basically there's this guy yeah um he goes by the name of the Slumlord, so he's a rental property owner. Um, this is this is the whole DID scene of this movie right here. That's it. It does not show her taped at all. Like, mm -hmm. like that's it. She end up like chained in a bathtub or something. No gag, nothing. Like that's it. So basically. He's like a landlord who has 13 cameras inside because he's spying on the tenants. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, so he spies on his tenants, and he has, like, this chat room of perverts who want him to, like, go into the house and, like, steer, steal their underwear and stuff and sell it to them. <laughs> and so when he gets busted by somebody in the house, then he can't let him live, like, if he knows, oh, if he knows that you know that you're he's stealing your underwear. So then... That shit happens, um, where he, like, kidnaps them and stuff, um, and just holds them, like, forever. It's weird. Um, yeah, and then, so that woman ends up, I don't know, I don't know, like, I didn't watch that whole movie, so I don't know how long it takes to get to that or whatnot, but I think she's pregnant, and he holds her over, and then this next movie, 14 Cameras, came out last year, and... So he still has that girl, and she's had the child. Like, I think he delivered the child for her, like, in captivity and raised it as his own. Um, but he told her that he killed it. Um, but anyway, so he's still got rental properties. It's called 14 Cameras. There's this girl right here who I showed you this clip kind of. Um, so this fitness babe ends up... He's been spying in her house, and he went in to get some clothes or something to sell to his online chat room perverts. Um, and she came home early, you know, and he's, he's in the... <laughs> <laughs> um, and the thing with this with this guy, you know, I watched this whole movie, and my problem with him is... He's such an unbelievable villain. Like, it's like this old, weak, like, limpy guy that is not, like, believable. Yeah. As it's like, he's like this all-powerful guy. Like, he can, like, capture any woman he wants, and he's just... Look at him. Doesn't seem too realistic. Exactly, no, for sure. Like, he could die. And it's funny because that this woman here that he kidnaps and takes down with the girl from the last movie and, like, this underground tunnel where he has them. Now, so he poisons a dog with cough syrup here. Um, and he goes and gets, like, um, I don't know, like a trash can. Like, so she wakes up here with the poorly applied tape gag. Yeah, you can't see any of the yeah. anything. Yeah. And why you taped her hands in front like that, I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> yeah. That's well, the that's, only she time... It. <laughs> that's the only time she's gagged the whole movie. Um, yeah, she's in it for a lot of it. Um, he ends up, like, shooting her in the face with a shotgun because she tries to escape. And she even says, like, at one point to the other girl, she's like... We have to try and escape because as you see him, like, he could have a heart attack and croak at any time and then no one's going to know we're here. Right. Like, and she tries to, like, he, like, wants to give her a bath. Like, he does that every once in a while, like, clean the That's girls up. Yeah, well, yeah. 
Well, he lets them bathe themselves, but he like puts them in the bath. Uh -huh. But um, yeah, so she tries to escape and like she kicks the shit out of him for a minute, but somehow. And she had even said, like, to the other girl, she's like, you need to help me kick his ass, because there's two of us and one of him, and he's, like, in terrible shape. But yet, somehow, yeah, he put her in that trash can. Okay, so I didn't film any of that, but what's also going on is there's this family. Okay, so oh, here's that part later on, where he's, like, going to give her a bath or something. <laughs> this is loading badly. Um, yeah, she tries to... I didn't let it like, catch itself. Um, so there's this other family that's renting another one of his properties. It's like a some like a vacation rent, like an Airbnb, and mm -hmm. he has the cameras in there too. And there's these two younger girls in there, and people have been watching the cameras, spying on them. And like ooh, this one night, like one of the guys just like snaps. He's like, "Yeah, I'm just gonna go kidnap her." Like, and he's like, "I know where that house is. I'm just gonna go get her." And so. He knows that's gonna happen, so he goes there actually like to play the hero to stop the guy mm -hmm. from kidnapping her, and then things like get out of hand. Um, as the guys like started offering him money, like, well, like how much for underwear or something, like how much for her, like I want it. He's like not for sale, like can't mm -hmm. do that. Um, so let's see this mask guy. Is it just some guy that's like one of his customers? He's in there, but. He went there to, oh no, he went there to get, um, to get a piece of clothing for a customer that's going to pay like thousands of dollars for it. Mm -hmm. But then there's another guy in the place. Did he tase her? Yeah. Not your typical gag. <laughs> He's like, what are you doing? <laughs> Love Lord just kills this guy. <laughs> Where are their parents and all this? Ah, uh, they took the brother, like, cause the brother, the girl, the girl thought that the brother was stealing her clothes, cause this guy is, um, and so they took him with them out into town. Um, yeah. That's the the kid that I think the girl from the first movie had. I don't know how much later it's supposed to be. I guess long enough for him to be like seven or eight or something. But he ends up finally turning the guy in. Um, and the parents come back. I think he was going back to get her. He was loading the first one in the mm -hmm. truck. Hello? And that's the brother who liked the girl that's Danielle? back there.
So he ends up taking her. That's the girl from the first movie. Uh, I think he, yeah, he goes back to the house. She ends up escaping that night. And then, I don't have it here, but the boy and the old woman from the first movie end up getting in the truck with her. They run him over. They run the slumlord over, okay? And this guy needs to be dead at this point, okay? Yeah, like, sure. he's an old piece of shit that, like, can barely move. And he got ran over by a truck. But the cops show up the next day and his body's not there. Look at him. I wonder, there was some video, like, someone wrote it was like, for us, like, the villain we didn't know we needed or something. Like, <laughs> yeah. like, <laughs> oh, yeah, and, and here he is at the end. Like, he's down in Mexico or something. Yeah. ends up down in Mexico. Well, he's... I mean, I think he has, like, a bright future in human trafficking. Mm. He's pretty good at it, so... The cow's a good guy. <laughs> the cow's a good guy for it. He does a creepy look really well. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. He got it down. down. Kind of he has it down. <laughs> <laughs> pretty happy with himself. Yeah, so that's how it ends. <laughs> Is there going to be a 15 cameras? I don't know. <laughs> In Mexico. Oh, God. I don't... I mean, like, again, I didn't watch 13 cameras, but I watched that, and I mean, like, uh, like, it was okay, but I don't know. Like, it was. Yeah. <laughs> Again, it, like, it's so hard to get into it with him because it's like, it just, I just don't believe. Just don't believe it. Like, yeah. it's not, <laughs> like he's, yeah, he's. He, he, like, he's just so. He just gets away with everything. I mean, he's just, you know, he barely moves. So he's like zombie Jason, but, like, not big and strong and cool. And like actually a zombie, <laughs> like he's just like this old guy. But that's that. I mean, uh, that DID stuff is is okay. I mean, it's not not phenomenal. I mean, well, I feel like the bar has been set so high right now. Like some of these horror movies are like they're a lot shorter and they're not as great because like some of the scenes we did recently, like some of those international scenes, mm -hmm. some of those Turkish scenes, like the one you watch, like they're like so much better. Like mm -hmm. just so much like more dramatic and awesome than like some of these I don't know the next two the final two for the horror movies are a little bit better um, one's pretty gross got some gross stuff in it and the other one's not as bad but it's got a, a real babe in it that everyone loves so that's what's coming next so see you guys see ya.
you love the Kidnappers Corner, please consider funding us on Patreon for a couple dollars a month. Or you can pick up our original content. Thanks.